Hello everybody, my name is Reagan Archbald and the reason I do these videos and the reason we have this show is because a lot of people are unhealthy and I don't want you to be one of them. I'm the founder of East West Health, which is an age reversal company that allows you to become unreasonably healthy in the shortest amount of time without sacrificing the most enjoyable parts of life. Your time is your most valuable resource that you have and so I wanna give you easy ways to stay healthy so that you make your next decade your best decade. And by the way, if you enjoy the show, please leave us a review and we will love you forever. And please enjoy the show. All right, welcome everybody to the Unreasonable Health Podcast. This is your host of the day, Kate Archibald. And I'm really excited about today's topic. We're gonna be diving into some really cool things. Um, before we dive in there, um, we just just want to kind of touch base on some of the challenges we have this week on uh, that we came that we talked about last night on the Health Accelerator Challenge. Um, if you're not a part of that community, take a look at it. Go to acueastwest.com forward slash hack. That's H A C, and uh, you can uh, learn about how you can be part of our uh, Health Accelerator community. Um, the challenge was uh, we went through some really intriguing and interesting um, blood markers and uh, some inflammatory markers, heart. Uh, and the challenge, the challenge this week, last week it was get your labs ran if you haven't in the last 90 days. So hopefully everyone went and uh, followed through on that. And then from there, take some of those markers that we talked about yesterday uh, or in the last podcast and then uh, see which learn and uh, use use some technology to to do some research on that and be become your own expert get some education on it um, so hopefully everyone's uh, diving into that so we have a really cool guest on today that uh, we have uh, Reagan Archibald's going to be interviewing and this is uh, Dr. Todd Watts he's a national board certified chiropractic physician in Idaho functional wellness practitioner. Uh, he's known as the parasite guy, extensive knowledge in functional blood chemistry, biochemistry, uh, chronic illness, uh, and, and helping those overcome chronic illness and restore their health. He's also the co-founder of CellCore Biosciences. So many of you on, on the live version of this, uh, you, you're either you've done CellCore in the past or you're currently on the, the you know, four or five phases that we we provide to you. And so that's, uh, he's one of the co-founders of that. And so we're going to be diving into some cool stuff there. He loves to research and formulate products, which will change the world. Uh, Dr. Watts was one of the first uh, to bring mimosa. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mimosa Dr. Pudica. Mimosa Pudica seed to the general health market in the U.S. He's uh, has an amazing health journey, which has led him to be able to help others. So awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Uh, Todd Watts. And uh, Reagan, I'm going to hand the baton over to you and uh, I'm, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the show. Great. Well, Dr. Watts, it's really good to have you on. And uh, Cellcor has been a phenomenal breakthrough for us in our practice. Um, but tell us about the origins about you. I mean, how did you uh, you know, you've had your uh, long history of helping people, but uh, how did CellCore come about? So it, I, I was working uh, in my clinic here in Idaho, and um, it's one of those things where working through some of my own health issues, uh, as well as my patients that I had their clinic on chronic Lyme disease and mold toxicity, and trying to figure out, okay, what's the missing piece? What, why am I not getting to that level I want to get to? Like, you know, dealing with some different allergies and headaches and uh, a variety of food sensitivities and things. And so um, one of the, a doctor I met in Texas, like, hey, Todd, you got some parasites. That's part of your problem that you're dealing with. Not, it's not just Lyme and Babesia and co-infections. And so I started diving down this whole parasite realm. And, uh, and he's like, you need some mimosa pudica. And, and so I tried to find some. And Dr. Klinghart had a company called BioCure. And they had some, but they were out for months and months at the time. And then, and, and so um, 
you know, I talked to a lot of my patients and one of them had stopped into a, a, an Ayurvedic uh, place and he saw it there. He's like, hey, they have a Mosapudica here. So um, I said, okay, buy it all. I'll take it. And then I gave it out to my patients. And then, um, and then I made a relationship with the supplier, go to India, get it, bring it over. And then one day, one time he brought it back. It was different than the, what it was original, which was the whole plant. Um, and some of the places had the bark. Uh, and, and so he brought back the seed and the seed was like the total difference maker compared to anything else out there. Uh, and, um, and, and just like massive, massive changes in patients. And I had several clinics I utilized. I, just, I researched for three and a half years on it before I launched the company to see through a clinic, a big, huge clinic in California, one back east at, up uh, in New York, Connecticut area, another one in, in the Midwest in Wisconsin with a ton of Lyme disease patients. And, and so it just, it just all of a sudden this whole parasite realm. And then I researched why the parasites affect people with Lyme disease and chronic, you know, viral infections. And, and it goes back to disrupts the immune system, which then creates proliferation of these other infections that the body cannot fight anymore. So as you clear the parasites, all of a sudden these patients could overcome Lyme without even treating Lyme because they've been treating it for five or 10 years like myself. And you, you keep cycling that process like oh you do well and you crash you do well and you crash and then that was kind of like the answer to my Lyme disease travel it was all of a sudden boom my allergies went away my headaches went away my food sensitivities for the most part went away and um and then also my cycling of the, with the infections went away wow and mimosa pudica is uh it, it it's in a few of the different formulas in in pair one it's just in pair one is that all it's in is pair one pair one yeah <laughs> And so that starts in uh, the step two, as far as uh, patients going through the foundational uh, phases, and 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 it's been a game changer. We've we've had patients uh, have very dramatic changes in their overall gut biome, their their bowel regularity, um, ability to detox. We've had a complete reversal of Lyme using uh, cell core with peptides. Um, we use a specific peptide uh, called LL37, which is a antimicrobial peptide and breaks up the biofilm. And then uh, you guys do some interesting things with parasites and heavy metal clearing as well, because uh, I know the, that sometimes the metal toxicities can be a, a place where parasites can tend to harbor. What's Maybe you could uh, elaborate on on that a little bit as well. Yeah, so we have a variety of binders that go in and help neutralize toxins so the body can get rid of them. And the, you know, they're effective on heavy metals. I think heavy metals are way overrated though. It's it, it's a kind of a buzzword within functional medicine, the Lyme disease world. And that, and that it, it's like everybody's getting infected with heavy metals and, you know, they have all these deals with heavy metals. Sure, they can be problematic and very, and cause a lot of oxidative stress that we go in and we take care of, not a problem. But the, if you really think about it, there's 86,000 chemicals, right? Uh, chemicals uh, and toxins that uh, are in the environment. There is an active of over 40,000, like 42,000 or so active chemicals they're utilizing and they introduce a couple thousand a year. So, uh, but just because they're not currently active, that means they're selling them and utilizing them in whatever foods or sprays or whatever, there's a lot of these are forever chemicals, meaning that they don't go away. And so the, um, uh, the amount of exposure to these environmental and industrial chemicals is way higher than metals because they're in our food, they're in our air and they're in our water. And then, yeah. uh, and then they're sprayed all over our lawns, they're sprayed around the house for bugs, they're, they're, they, they're in the chemtrails. So the, the disruption of what they do and then they cause a, a reaction and deliver some of these metals to parts of like our brain um, and and they amplify as well the toxin the, the, the toxicity of metals. So our products are designed to go in and, and help to uh, reduce that load and to help the body to clear them out. Um, and that's where the success has come so much because we're addressing chemicals and metals and um, and we're trying to reduce the load exposure to them as well within our education. Yeah, and and I think that's a really important piece. And and uh, for those of you who don't know what glyphosate is, it it's the active ingredient in Roundup. It's a registered antibiotic. Uh, it is uh, it, it's 
pervasive, uh, even in organic foods, you're going to have uh, some level of glyphosate. Uh, and so uh, it, it, and is it just the binders that's removing the glyphosate or are there other, other products you guys are using to uh, re reduce the load? That's really a question because it's not just the binders, right? Because it, it goes back to um, the, the process that we created in the protocol, which is opening up the drainage funnel first. So to get stuff out, you have to be able to get it out, which means you got to be going to the bathroom. You got to get thin that bile, make sure the bile flow is moving well. So then so it's not going back into the blood. Um, you you got to make sure that lymph, the lymph is supported, the lymph drainage is supported. So we, we talk about that process throughout the whole protocol is being sure that your drainage pathways are open. And then from there, let's then get these binders and, and products also that help to um, neutralize the toxins. So the CT minerals is a really good one, for example. It has a mm -hmm. lot of, you know, a lot of electrical activity and, and uh, um, the, a lot of that oxygen. So it's the charged particles that are in the binders and the CT minerals that will support um, the, um, the detoxification process and the enzymatic reactions and um, when you really dive into, you know, we talk about liver detoxification, there's phase one, two, and three, three being transportation, meaning the bile flow, we're getting it out and into, into the bowels and then out, you know, in the bowels and then out. Uh, phase two is conjugation. So making sure we have supportive conjugation, which can be down-regulated if we can't get it out. And then phase one, which is the neutralization of toxins, which is the cytochrome P450 enzyme that utilizes yeah. charged particles, meaning that and it's a whole process of reactions that occur that need electrons, protons, hydrogen ions, and oxygen. And that's what our, our, our products are phenomenal for redox and providing those, those charged particles to the, you know, that process. And even into the mitochondria where we need a lot of support on. Yeah, and I think that's uh, one of the things I've enjoyed about CellCore is the body needs energy to detoxify. And so many times, you know, uh, we put our patients on um, herbal detoxifications or master cleanse was big 20 years ago, if you remember the master cleanse. And yep. I, I had all my patients, uh, they were doing that, not necessarily on my recommendation, but just like, oh, I must be toxic. I don't feel good. And so many times it would make them worse. And so um, as I got introduced to Selco, well, first of all, you guys are out of Idaho. And that was uh, that was already I was halfway there. <laughs> and then I started looking at the science. and I was like, yeah, I knew all good things come from Idaho. And so I started looking at the science and I said, this is um, finally, there's there's a way that we can uh, intelligently affect the pH levels of the body. We can uh, help the body uh, remove waste and and bind up toxins without putting a patient, uh, you know, in bed for three days. And so, um, and, and so, I appreciate all the work that's gone on 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 your side to come up with this. But as you look at, um, you know, some of these binders and some of the things you guys are, are working on right now, what's been the biggest challenge in putting all the pieces together? Because it's a whole complex uh, protocol that you guys have created, and there's no other supplement company out there quite like Cellcor from what I've observed. Yeah, so being able to clinically figure things out, um, you know, I started with, uh, you, you always hear in functional medicine, you know, everything starts in the gut. So you yeah. want to you clean the gut out. Well, we were doing that with phase two, which was initially phase one that we were, we were running through um, our clinic. And then people were having either reactions or they were swelling. And, and Dr. J in his time period um, with, with working with super sensitive people, talk, you know, really focused on drainage. And so it, we said, okay, we got to do phase zero at the time. And then we just moved everything back and moved phase one, two, and three, four, um, but we had to prepare the body. So our, our, our whole goal is understanding is like, okay, these organs that detox need support. These, uh, they need energy and uh, we need to be sure we're making sure everything's moving, clearing out before we just go after gut stuff, which can then, you know, have a reaction because we clinically saw the same thing you saw. So that made a step back and then, and then create the way we currently do it, which people have much less reactions by preparing the body to go through that process. And, and then it's creating products that can help upregulate that function. It's interesting because when you, when you really look at it, we talk about a mitochondria and we talk about energy. Well, the liver has approximately 2000 mitochondria per cell. Yeah. And, and so it needs a lot of support to do what it has to do. 
It also needs a lot of support because it's what it helps create energy. It's what metabolizes glycogen when we're not eating. It's what metabolizes fats when we're not eating to then provide us the ability to create energy and make energy. And then there's a standpoint that we talked about the body, you know, the acid-base balance in the body, like the alkaline versus acidity and all this. Well, there's a lot of misinformation out there trying to be alkaline. And it reacts in, in acidity that acid's bad, but acid isn't bad because that's where we get energy from. Fatty acids, amino acids, means that it just has a hydrogen on it versus the hydrogen being gone. And so when you're measuring stuff, it's like, okay, what kind of acid's being built? And, and when, you, when you really look at it, and this is part of what we accomplish here in creating the protocols was like, okay, the problem is, is that people are bad or acidic it's a lactic acid process, meaning that a fermentation process goes on in the body, which is mm -hmm. anaerobic exercise. So you're, you're sprinting and you run out of energy from the mitochondria and you're just going through that fermentation process of glycolysis. So, so, the, so then compared to jogging where you have plenty of oxygen and you can keep going, going, going or walking, um, that means the mitochondria is functioning well and we're going through aerobic respiration, which is like that long-term exercise and you can keep up. So what we found with these chronically ill people is that mitochondria suck and it pushes everything back to super inefficient in energy production and then to clear it, it's in a fermentation process, which really leads to death eventually. And so by upregulating the mitochondria, it means that we can have aerobic respiration. We can have optimal energy. That's most of it comes from the mitochondria. And, um, and, and then now all of a sudden the, organ can work, the organs can work. The, 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 the liver can work, the brain, which has up to 10,000, to actually 2 million in parts of the brain, mitochondria per cell. So our nervous system needs a ton of energy to function and, and operate. And then, um, you know, the heart, it's like 5,000. So you see, you see prioritization there is that if you have sucky mitochondria function and everything then goes into a process that's fermented, then you still worse, which is what you're yeah. talking about. And so by supporting how we do our, our protocols, through a scientific way, all of a sudden people are, were experiencing so much better health and they were having much better um, long-term recovery versus cycling. And, and, and uh, then you also have to consider the immune system. Balance yeah. Th1, Th2, and I, you know, I can go into that, but that we address that whole thing through this process as well. Yeah, and I think that's uh, a brilliant piece of it. So if we go through um, each of the steps, Step one uh, became step zero. Um, oh, step zero, was step became, zero and then yeah, it became yeah, step one. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think the um, you know I think so often um, we we don't give credit to the process, and I think the process it, to me is really fascinating. Like I love uh, reading books on artists and how great artists made. Uh, Rick Rubin's newest book, The Creative Act, is like very interesting, but. I look at the same in science. It's like, how many mistakes do we make until we actually figure out what we need to do? And it's not necessarily a mistake. It's just progressing us towards a you know new level of truth. And who knows the steps in a year you guys may just, you know, they may be different than they are today by, by a little bit, but um, yeah. that's, that's one of the things I've loved about watching you and Jay work is you guys iterate as you go and but you're using real clinical data um, versus uh, just copying what someone else did over here and trying to put a nice label on a on a bottle and saying here's your here this one's even better we have new research that shows um, and and then you know because in Utah we make a lot of these supplements and so um, I have the uh, the back backstage pass to see actually what's in them and uh, but Cellcore's uh, you guys have done a great job at maintaining your integrity and ha actually having some uh, really good uh, products that get and phenomenal results. So do you mind if we go through each of the four steps sure. because that's a common thing that I know uh, my audience they ask all the time. What are these four steps? Um, how how come I'm on these? Um, and, you know, I, I'll even have patients that'll be like, I'm doing so well. And I say, all right, it's time for optimize A, optimize B. And they're like, I got to do more cell core. I'm like, well, um, you don't have to do anything. But uh, if we want to keep your body optimized and keep you moving towards, uh, you know, healthier, uh, better health, then this is going to help. So let's go through step one. Um, and um, we don't need to go through all the products, but I mean, like Tudka, I think is, is pretty fascinating, um, especially with the melatonin that's in there. But maybe you could talk about, you know, kind of the Tudka, the biotoxin binder. You you mentioned the CT minerals, but, uh, and then yeah. there's the valve over. 
So the the, the bowel mover is is going to be independent is on the person, right? If, if they get constipated, but it, it helps just to cleanse the bowels out, and, and that's a key aspect, especially those that are con have constipation problems. The the CT minerals, um, the, the new formulation I added some magnesiums in there on the new formulations, and um, that really helps muscles and brain and things. And it's it's just it, it gives you the charged particles that you need to be able to create energy to bind free radicals and to and to get the the mitochondria really were working along with the BCATP, the uh, the biotoxin binder. So that binder is different than a lot of things on the market. And you hear back today charcoal. You hear about um, you know the zeolite. Yeah. Yeah. So th this has really high potency with electrical activity, with the pH. They, they matter, but also um, the phenomenal parts, the the humix and the fulvics that are in there, really help to bind these toxins, provide those charged particles. And move things through that process. There's some supportive things in there that help the mitochondria. Um, and then uh, one of the things like there's the, the yucca root, for example, that helps to bind ammonia in the gut. It's a great vitamin C source. Um, there's some molybdenum that helps the sulfur pathways. A lot of people have some sulfur sensitivities, so it helps with, with uh, taking care of that. The, uh, the broccoli sprout extract is put in there because it helps the glutathione process. So there's the, what we call ROS, reactive oxygen species enzymes in the mitochondria that do, they take the free radical and they convert that free radical to water. And the last um, part that changes hydrogen peroxide to water is glutathione, but glutathione isn't getting, you're not getting glutathione that you eat into the cells like that. What, what's happening is you're recycling that with the hydrogen. So you're just reducing, it's a redox reaction. You're reducing it, meaning you're adding hydrogen it's active. It can donate the hydrogen that then can do the conversion. And then, um, and then it's oxidized and then you add the hydrogen back onto it. It's active and it keeps going through this process. The rocket sprout extract helps the enzymes to work in that, in, in that because mycotoxins mold can downregulate that process called NRF2 enzymes or pathway. And so I, I, I've re I, I've formulated things to do multiple factors to turn things on to get things to work. In that process, and then the the the, the chutka, um, that is one of the biggest problems we found with detoxification is, is sludgy bile, and so if you're not moving that bile through or creating new bile and um, supporting liver function, which it, you know repairs liver. I mean, you can see all the research on chutka on liver, brain yeah. health, gut health. It's a crazy amount of research that's beneficial. But Jay, it's one of his favorite products because when he's researching, he's like, "What do we do for this? How do I help my patients with this?" And so he looked at bodybuilders that were using steroids and what did they do to hack the damage that steroids were doing to the liver? And this is their hack. Yeah. And, and so it, um, if we can't, if we can't get the toxins to move through, there's this thing called the blood bile barrier, which means those toxins push into the bloodstream and then they either, go, then they either have to be processed through the kidneys, they go through the skin, you can get really itchy skin or through the lungs. And, and so that's why we support that so much. And then there's the KL support. Um, and, and, and that really helps the fun, you know, the kidneys and the liver to really function and clear things out too. But, um, yeah, the, the melatonin is an anti-inflammatory, the tudka is an anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory bile acid, uh, NAC is really helps to upregulate and it is very beneficial in conjugation processes as well. Yeah. And, the, and there's very interesting, uh, research on, uh, melatonin, typically higher levels um, that support uh, the uh, inflammatory processes, oxidative stress. Um, even uh, so many of our patients come in and their adrenals are pretty wrecked. And so uh, with all the stress, uh, the vitamin C levels get low. So the, the yucca is a, it's a fascinating way to get uh, some extra vitamin C in patients who don't always get what they need uh, on that component. Yep. Um, and so then, uh, you know, we, we go to step two and this is, uh, this is where you're, you're, uh, famous, uh, for the, uh, mimosa pudica, and this is where it's in the para one. And maybe you could talk a little bit about that process. Uh, real quick. I hope you're enjoying the show, but if you're somebody who wants to take your health to the next level, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you realize that you are your only 
uh, impediment to growth. Maybe you have kids that you're chasing around or grandkids. Maybe your knees are starting to ache. You're starting to notice that aging is catching up. We'll schedule an appointment with one of our health ascension specialists so that we can get the right labs ran for you. And then my team and I can review those labs, meet with you and get you a personalized peptide protocol put together. And that will help you recover your health, feel, look, and perform your best no matter what age you are. All you need to do is text or call us at 801-582-2011. I hope you're enjoying the show and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Yeah, so the key that was the breakthrough for a lot of my uh, patients in the clinic were was this product, meaning that it was really cleansing the gut. It's a really, like Jay talks about, a gut grabber. And I was seeing stuff coming out, people within taking it once that came out two feet or four feet long, taking two capsules, all of a sudden there's a release. Um, I had patients, one gal, she couldn't eat food for two years. She ate down to four different types of food. Uh, very, I mean, mass, massive with headaches and fatigue and gut problems and food sensitivities. And some stuff came out of her. It looked like thick old beef jerky, like lining stuff that would come out of her. And all of a sudden, Within a few months, she started being able to eat food again. And then with, within a year, like she could eat almost anything. Uh, wow. so this, whether it's mucoid plaque or biofilm buildup and there was parasites, a variety of things that came out with the pair one. And that was life changing. And she was my patient on it. And then from there, uh, we brought in the pair two, which is a, is, is, has herbs in it, an Ayurvedic formula that uh, I gotten the, the the herbs to use from a formula used in India from the kind of like the um, surgeon like the surgeon general the the top health person in the, in, in there the uh, uh, secretary of Ayush of Ayurvedic medicine over all the Ayurvedic medical schools in in India uh, worked for the prime minister he's high up in the government there and he'd been an Ayurvedic medical doctor for years. Uh, for, you know, probably 40 years now. And, uh, you, you know, this works really well because it works with the three different body types in Ayurvedic medicine. So it, it can, it, it's, it's very uh, tolerable versus a lot of other products that are just kind of more harsh. And it gets things going. It's bitters and spices, which, which is a part of their right. diet. But bitters and spices that help to clear out parasites and bacteria and gunk. So, with that, um, we, we, you know, we, we add that gut part of the cleansing out and, and then uh, we continue moving down the drainage funnel and adding, uh, d you know, different, different things. But we, we, we continue with the, the, the biotoxin binder, I think, in that phase yep. field. And it's, it's because the biotoxin binder is still clearing environmental toxins, industrial chemicals, uh, metals, and supporting then the, the microbiome because a lot of good nutrients from the microbiome that are in that product. And then it also helps to heal those tissues. Yeah. And that one we've seen, uh, I've had patients bring a napkin in with uh, little worms in it. We've had uh, fun little um, show and tell uh, from the, the pair one and pair two, both in, in step two and step three is where I, I give people the, the uh, fun challenge to uh, go ahead and look at your stool. Uh, and and uh, there's usually some, uh, you know, for a lot of a lot of people, there's interesting things that come out. I, I had a patient who hadn't had a regular bowel movement in 10 years. It was always loose. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, she's, she started feeling better on step one. And then by the time we got her to step two, now she's got form bowel movements. Um, she's got energy levels that are through the roof, whereas her energy was just completely depleted in the afternoon. Um, her blood sugar is more regulated. Her autoimmune markers are all come come down. Like her her thyroid peroxidase antibodies went from I think it was like four thirty was the highest that we tested them at. Now last time we checked, they're below thirty. So um, so had, yeah, there's I've had some above five thousand. It's like it's greater than five thousand. It's like if we don't even know where they're at, right? On those <laughs> antibodies, and and then the the TG antibodies were over were over twenty five hundred. I mean, she was Jeez. the worst. And I got um, just in probably six months was able to get her TPO antibodies um, below you know below this you know the five hundred like four something. So it went from above five thousand to below uh, yeah. below five hundred um, in, in short period of time. And it, it's because the whole approach is like we're not giving you guys a bunch of nutrients here. So it's not vitamin D and vitamin C and B vitamins mm -hmm. and all this stuff, supportive stuff. 
this is going to the core issue of how the body works and we're we're clearing out the toxins that create the deficiencies so if you're deficient right. in, in all these you know 20 20 different vitamins it's because of a correlation which is toxicity and parasites typically and then you, you upregulate the ability to absorb now because the pair one helped to clean things out pair two started addressing the the parasites and um and then you know step three you, you get into pair three which is a phenomenal formulation for going more even more systemic and clearing out deeper parasites whether they're you know you know in the lungs the liver pancreas that sort of thing it's a tincture that absorbs really quickly and that tincture is really tasty todd i mean the flavor is just amazing <laughs> you know it's, it's interesting because there's so many nasty ones out there you know including the is formulas but but this that one's not bad at all i mean my kids take it all the time yeah it's got a little almost like a minty uh, uh tone to it and diane uh, diane good to have you on she asked um i'm doing step one right now do i take a break uh before i start step two or start step two immediately after the first step we like them we like you diane to go all the way through all four steps uh dr watts do you have any any feedback on that or any insights that might clarify yeah there's no need for a break on the protocol we, we designed it to, to allow things to, to go through and move through that process so um, if you feel you need more support on on step one then order another step one and continue that for another 30 days if you need that more support before you address the parasites but and sometimes people get stuck i talk to doctors they're like oh but you know they're they're passive parasites and i got them on step two i'm like no. well part of the thing is is you need to continue them through the process because you're do, addressing different things through that through that protocol and then you can come back to other steps afterwards but it's mm -hmm. important to work through the whole protocol some people are very sensitive and need you don't have any energy need a little more extra step two step one process but other other people can move right most people can move right through it yeah and and we have uh, some of our Lyme patients uh, uh who actually feel the best on step two is what we've discovered mm -hmm. and so uh we will take them through all four and then we just keep them on step two and uh, we'll do that for one to three months and it seems to get things cleared up uh, where we'll recheck the uh, antibodies uh, and no Lyme, it's negative and they feel great. And it's uh, it's pretty interesting. But step two, I, I don't know why that is for the majority of our Lyme patients, they feel the best on step two. Any insights on that? Well, I think it's because you're, you're, you're really addressing the gut um, uh, and the, the products in there are really good for helping out the microbiome. You know, when you look at Para 2, the neem in there is, is, they call it the village pharmacy in India. And it's really good for the gut microbiome too. So it's, it helps feed the good, good bacteria. Um, you know, there's a whole plethora of, of herbs in there, but it's right. to help balance out their doses or their body types. And, and they're probably just resonating with that. I have people that say the same thing about step one, where like, man, I felt so good on step one. I got into step two or three and I, I took a little bit of a hit and a step back, but you realize you push through and then you're getting better and better. And, yeah. and you know, it's like the stock market. It doesn't go straight up, right? There's there, it goes up, but it, there's some downturns on on that process to get to where we need to go. And it, it's a uh, yeah, it, you'll be fine. You'll get through it all. Yeah, and you brought up a good point um, earlier, which is this is not a supplement protocol. We're not just throwing vitamin D, vitamin C, DHEA, um, and and what a lot of people don't realize, and I I would could be better at communicating this, but you're actually absorbing more of the nutrients from the food you eat uh, with cell cores. So you you know you're you're getting nutrients from the sources that we want them versus from a pill, but. Um, but how come you guys decided to go down this vein? Is it to treat the root cause? Is that the main thing versus here's another vitamin D supplement that's amazing. Take this. Um, what, what was your thinking when, when you and Jay, uh, put these protocols together? Well, I, I've done that functional medicine stuff. I've had all these products that are in the market from all the big companies I've utilized. It doesn't work. It's a temporary thing. It's not addressing why. They talk about its root cause medicine. It's not. What we do is foundational. Foundational medicine, foundational health starts with removing what's creating the problems in the first place. Mm -hmm. So by, um, you know, and this has been my personal journey. I had Epstein-Barr and then, then eventually Lyme disease um, and, and parasite infections and mold. 
And I, I mean, I've, I've gone through the whole gamut myself. Personally, Dr. J's wife almost died twice from Lyme disease uh, back in 1989 when she got bit by a tick and was in a, in a coma for six weeks. And then when she had her, you know, her baby, uh, she couldn't eat for over 20 days um, and um, almost died. So we have our personal journeys and how to work through this process. And then we were able to help with thousands of patients doing the same thing. And so it, we've used so many different products on the market that we realized we had to do things differently. And that's when I go back into my background about chemistry and understanding how does things really work? What are the enzymatic processes that occur in the body? What support do they need? And, and, and then also looking at what's creating the problems and dysfunction in both that and in energy production and immune function. And then and that's the, been the approach we've used and the results have been 10 times better. I, yeah. I have doctors all the time. This is what I do. I spend my time with training doctors now. Like my whole practice changed. I started using cell core. I, was, I wasn't having my patients 20 different you know, supplements to try and do the same thing I can get with five with, with cell core. And then, and, uh, and now that my people are getting better, I get these miraculous stories day in and day out. Like, yeah, because we're, we're, we're going to the foundation of what's causing it in the first place. And, and then we're, we're healing the body in, in that way. And we're using how nature would do it. And then from there, the goal is to support the body. Like you talked about optimized phases by you're going to get continuous exposure to all these chemicals. How do we, you know, how do we offset that? And, and how do we continue getting better? And we're going to have come up with products that are going to be even taking you to the next level. But several of our products, we have athletes, NHL athletes and professional athletes that like, their careers have been extended. They've been able to do so much more and skate longer and um, perform better and um, that they just love self work. Uh, Spartan racers, same thing, like boom, their performance is so much better. It's so much faster, more endurance, yeah. more recovery. So it's not just for the chronic ill line mold patients, but it's for anti-aging and for optimal performance as well. Yeah, and and that's uh, probably the largest uh, group that we treat. Um, I've had uh, one of my patients is an NFL quarterback, and he loves step one. He just wants to stay on that all the time, and awesome. so it's it's great because we can't use peptides um, uh, when it's on season because uh, it it can flag some of the 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 doping. Uh, uh, markers, even though we're just helping them recover better, which is ridiculous, but, um, but we can use cell core, which has been phenomenal. And, and I come from a, an Eastern medical background of Chinese medicine. And so what I've seen in uh, the doshas are no different than the five elements. And when you're addressing all the system holistically, and, you know, we use the term pleiotropic uh, in peptide therapy, which is, you know, there's, there's one biological input and it creates a thousand different outputs. And, and that's where you have the fewest side effects versus, you know, Western medicine, here's a drug to suppress a symptom. Uh, here's some lisinopril and now your hypertension's gone. It's like, well, um, anytime you're just working on a singular pathway, you're going to have some fallout from it. You're go going to have some side effects. And, and Salcora seems like you guys have thought through this uh, in more of a pleiotropic nature, which is, Exactly. Very helpful. Yeah. And, when, you know, someone gets to, um, you know, there's there's foundation, there's the comprehensive, which is more products, it's more for people, have, uh, you know, more chronic things. But if you look at um, kind of the optimize A, optimize B, uh, you've got your leaky gut strategy, there's uh, the the metabolic boost. I mean, you guys have, have put together some very fascinating formulas for virtually every different category. Um, what's next? What, what do you see on the horizon for uh, product development? So one of the, we have some new products going to be coming out. I've been working on for quite a while, but one of them is um, a, a drainage product, uh, a product that is going to help support where we have the most uh, amount of drainage needed. So, so that means that, believe it or not, our lymph, we talk about lymph, you need a dry brush, you need to walk and exercise, but that's, that's less, that's like 10% of our lymph fluid. 80% of the lymph that's made is from the liver and the, and, and the intestines. So this will help, really help support that and also help systemically the, 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 the lymph in the whole body, meaning that helps to cleanse the lymph, it helps to cleanse the blood and then support the, the, the gut stuff. So. That's that drainage product will probably be introduced into. I'm guessing eventually phase one um, to to really get that 
kicked off um, even better. And then um, I've been working, oh, geez, um, we have a, an immune D DTX product that we're working on. I call it immune detox. How do we get a, something similar to ivermectin? It has ingredients like Nigella sativa and neem and a variety of, of things mm -hmm. that we brought together that we'll probably launch in August for the fall season to deal right. with um, you know, what we tend to get exposed to. Um, and um, the me support, we're working through some of the documentation on that, which is mental emotional support. It's gonna be a tincture form, uh, probably glycerin based because that way kids can take it easily versus the alcohol based. I'm working, I'm working through those intricacies of, of that that has um, some charges, so frequencies that will just shift the body. And, and just doctors that have used the product, maybe used it in the clinic, it's been a massive shift in, in all kinds of things in the body because the emotions and trapped emotions can really hold on to things. So I've had teenagers, I have a 17 year old that I had um, wor um, try it with her mom's a practitioner. And she, she, uh, she was an athlete, so a rower crew, she had a lot of anxiety issues. And uh, her mom was like, I don't know what to do, Todd. And so she was really highly inflamed. And literally within two days, you could see, you could see her dimples in her face. She could put her arms to her side. She could actually touch her shoulders, which she hadn't been able to do for a long time. She was so inflamed, she couldn't bring her arms wow. down. She helped the body to drain. And then her anxiety levels in, in school and everything just went away. We used it on babies. I had uh, I have one as a neurological brain damage stuff that has been really really um, uh, beneficial to what we've used it in. I had a gal with a frozen shoulder. She, you know she couldn't you know move her shoulder, and all of a sudden she could raise her shoulder up. And it's amazing how much the emotions and, and the it frequencies can just shift the whole body to start allowing the healing to take place. Um, and that's we launched that last year, but I think we were a little pre premature on, on on doing that. Uh, we had one round of it, and then um, I've, I've taken it back again, and I put it instead of in, in I put it into a, a tincture with chamomile and lavender bud mm. uh, with stuff. So the the life, the shelf life would be longer, and and the application would be better. Um, yeah, we, I have I have a whole list of products. Where I'm finally being able to work on. Because I've been yeah. the CEO, CEO, and trying to deal with everything else. Now I've, I've brought people in to help, help run the supply chain and, and all that. Why Jay and I can focus more now on product development and education. Yes, I saw that video. That's great. I'm, I'm happy for you guys. And um, and and just to, as we kind of close up here, uh, Dr. Watts, I, I really appreciate your time today. It's been awesome to hear expertise. I've got one more question from Diane. She says. Uh, on the CT minerals, um, it, you know, a lot of people have that bottle left over after step one, and they worry that they're doing something wrong. Um, I'll let you address that because yes, uh, CT minerals last a lot longer than just the, the first step. We made the bottles big enough to where you can continue it on through the whole process, right? So, it, yep. it, and not only that, but you can start up dosing. So once you start with 10 drops twice a day, you, you know, I do probably four dropper fulls at a time. Cause I want that energy through my body, but I don't start people there. So we start people at a low dosage, but you should be able to do two droppers twice a day, three droppers twice a day. The athletes are doing high dosing because they want to be able to recover and, and, and do phenomenal with that and, and be able to perform longer without losing their oxygen levels. And, and, and then also being able to recover by binding those free radicals and, and optimizing mitochondria function. So with that, our design, when we did that, um, we did that product was to be able to give you guys a, a lot more to take care of after the process and to upregulate up the dosing of it too. Yeah, love yeah. it. Hopefully that, that helps, Diane. Yeah. Um, and and uh, just on a personal side, um, what are some things you do that uh, are just kind of outlandish for your health, like that nobody else does? Well, boy, uh, outlandish. So I guess part of it is in product development. <laughs> Before I bring products to market, I'm taking stuff, and I'll I'll do like when I when I did the para two, I took 30 capsules a day. I wanted to see <laughs> if I had a reaction to that, and it was fine. And then para three, before I launched that one, I, I've been working on it for two and a half years. And, and and that's the thing, you guys. A lot of these products I launch, I, I've worked in my clinic for 
year, two, three, four years. Um, and with patients, myself, you, you know, running different types of scans on people and when they're taking them. But uh, that one, I thought, okay, I'm missing an ingredient. I was trying to figure it out. Holy basil is probably what tasting in it along with the clove. Yeah. And I had holy basil. Well, I'd been taking the product without the holy basil and I was up two dropper fulls, like, no problem. I started it with the, with the holy basil, the two dropper fulls. Oh my goodness. I, I broke out in a rash within literally within two doses, my whole body. And then my fingers swelled up. My hands were all swollen. My, fingers <laughs> swollen, my joints, my whole body hurt. So like I, I went out for five days, started back on five drops <laughs> and then worked up. I still probably had like some infections in my fingers, right? And that's part of the thing. I probably had infections in my joints still that I needed to clear out. But the holy basil yeah. is great because it, it's a driver to the joints. It helps joint pain, joint inflammation, lung stuff. And so it gets that it gets that product. So part of the ingredient process is not just the benefits of the herb, but the mixture of, the, of that to get it to the body and throughout the body. And that's the difference between us and a lot of other supplement companies. They're just me too supplement companies. They just like, oh, here, you need this nutrient. You need that nutrient. There's no research on how it shifts the body like I've done clinically. And that's why we've been right. so, so successful is because people are getting results because <laughs> I'm the guinea pig, my patients are the guinea pig, other doctors and their clinics are the guinea pigs before I launch stuff to see how the results are, are going to be. And then we use a scientific standpoint of how it would work clinically, not just, well, here's a research ingredient and has this many milligrams in it and, you know, and get 20% improvement by doing this, this, and this, I'm like, okay, that's, that's all the me too garbage stuff that no, it doesn't work when you're dealing with toxicity and, and you, you, you know, really dive into, you, you know, oh, you can buy it from orthomolecular, you can buy it from Santa Cross, you can buy it from Zymogen, you can buy it from Biotics Research, you can buy it from Pure Encapsulations, and they just do their own little twist. It's the same thing. It doesn't, doesn't move the needle. So Jay and I are all about how can we be impactful with the products we launch? Everything we do is about being impactful to make a difference to people. And, um, you know, we've had some supply chain issues, you guys, in the last few years, we're only five years old. And um, the, you know, there's a lot of growth things that we go through that process, but overall in looking at, um, you know, what we're doing, uh, we're gonna continue bringing those products to market that, that are impactful. Yeah, we'll keep it up and uh, uh, yeah, keep experimenting on yourself. I, I think that's, uh... That is uh, fun. Uh, I do the same. And uh, I think every uh, great clinician, uh, we, we use our body as my very first mentor. That's what she taught me. She's like, it's a gift from God. If you get sick or if you have injuries or uh, any autoimmunity, I had an auto, I had Hashimoto's and, and uh, she said, this is a gift because now you can experiment on yourself and then you can help that many more people because of what you do to your body. So thank you for your your 30 doses, uh, 30 vials of, uh, <laughs> yeah, para four too. I've done that with para four and, and, uh, I've done a lot of my, a lot of my products. I want to see the reactions, but really comes down to you. I'm 54. I'll be 55 this year. And, um, you know, I feel more, I, I feel amazing. I feel better now than I did, you know, the last 20 years of going right. through realizing these things, optimizing great health. And so, you know, you guys can have the same thing. Well, uh, and Leanne says, uh, thanks for such an informative, exciting, and uplifting webinar. Leanne, I hope that uh, helps you get pumped up about your cell core. Um, and then uh, uh, Allison's uh, asking, hey, Allison, uh, Todd, do you have any kind of a mindful practice in your day? Not mindfulness. She's just noticing that you're not very mindful, I think, is what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> You know, part of part of healing, right, and, and part of having a, an optimal life is addressing all aspects of your life. There's a physical, chemical, emotional, and spiritual. So that's a, a big part of who I am and what I do. And uh, even working with patients, it's, it's that mindset of how you approach your day, the positivity, the even the warrior mentality. You can overcome your your chronic illness. That that's what was really big for me, and what I needed to overcome with my fatigue and some of my health issues was like just keeping that mindfulness, that morning start of my day, that first hour of how I can uplift. And, and I'm really big about leading through inspiring. And, and that's what I do here for our company is you, you inspire people. You, you, you bring that positive energy, that high vibration is so important. And so prepping your body and spending that first time in the morning to, to get to where you need to be is really important. Yes. Love it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time and thanks for all your innovations. 
and uh, we'll, we'll talk very soon. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks so much, gents. That was uh, amazing. And thanks, everybody, for joining us today uh, live. And yeah, uh, reach out. Uh, if, if anyone's interested in any of these uh, Cellcore products, you can reach out to us um, at the office, 801-582-2011. Um, you can also do some research and, and learn a little bit more about Todd. Um, I think that it's Cellcore Biosciences is the... Uh, is that the website? Sorry, I don't have it right in front of me. Too. Yeah, that's the website, cellcore.com. But um, you know, ultimately, the, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's behind the login aspect for the doctors and practitioners. But there's some basic information on the front pages and things. And um, I'm sure maybe there's stuff on YouTube. I, mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention to all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm just <laughs> working doing. <laughs> hey, whatever I'm told to heal on that. I'm not. I'm not big. I'm not really good at the social media and stuff but that, that's all right thank you so much for joining us we'll see everybody next time bye bye, bye.